Princess Mary was born on the 25th of April 1776 and was the 11th child and 4th daughter of George III and Queen Charlotte. Mary was educated by governesses at home. She was taught languages, art, needlework and music, something Mary was skilled at. She and her sisters were given very little freedom and were restricted by their parents in what they were allowed to do. They lived very monotonous lives which was interrupted only occasionally by an outing to the theatre or to a neighbouring town. On the 2nd of June, 1788, Mary and her sisters attended a gala at Ranala, held by the Spanish ambassador. It was very entertaining for her, and amusements included a lottery, dancing and fireworks. Mary attended court for the first time in June 1791, and her cousin Prince William of Gloucester also made his first appearance. Mary and her family would visit Weymouth every summer from 1789 until 1805. They would swim at sea and ride donkeys. They would attend public breakfasts held by a local dignitary or go carriage riding. When it rained, they were confined to indoors with nothing to do with too little space. During her sister Amelia's bout of tuberculosis, the princesses spent time in Weymouth. Mary was her sister's nurse and they became close companions. Mary was kind and affectionate and was her eldest brother George's favourite sister. She was described by Prince Albert of Saxe Coburg and Gotha, the husband of Queen Victoria, as being a lady whose virtues and qualities of the heart had commanded the respect and love of all who knew her. Mary was more discreet than her sisters but spoke her mind when necessary. On the 22nd of July, 1816, Mary married William, Duke of Gloucester, her cousin. They moved into Bagshock Park. They had no children, but they had a loving marriage. They adored each other and remained constant companions. In 1834, the Duke died and Mary moved into Gloucester House. She was the last and longest surviving child of George III and the only one of her siblings to be photographed. She passed away on the 30th of April, 1857, at the age of 81. She was seen by her nieces and nephews as a sort of grandmother and a link to their grandfather and grandmother who had passed away when many of them were still very young.